Money possesses a unique essence, unlike any other scent in the world. Its fragrance captivates the miser's senses, surpassing even the most exquisite perfumes. To him, the aroma of money is akin to a bouquet of roses, evoking an intense love and attraction. The miser can discern the scent of money and relish its presence. Money also possesses a distinct texture that can be felt. When you hold a $20 bill in your hand and compare it to another piece of paper, you can sense the disparity. There is a tangible difference, almost like an aroma emanating from it. All these qualities are intrinsic to the human psyche, where limitless possibilities reside. Before passing judgment, I implore you to experience it for yourself. If you possess evidence that supports my claim, the opinions of the world become irrelevant. Even if they ridicule you, remember that they have always mocked those whose ideas seemed unconventional. Visionaries proposing the idea of reaching the moon were ridiculed, yet it is now an accomplished feat. Despite undeniable proof, some individuals still deny its occurrence, simply because they refuse to believe it. So I encourage you to try it firsthand. If its effectiveness is demonstrated through your personal experiences, the opinions of the vast world hold no significance. Dedicate yourself to your own development, which is ultimately your purpose in life. Embrace a fulfilling and remarkable existence in this earthly realm. Eventually, the day will come when you transition from this current age. However, unless one awakens to a new understanding, they will find themselves in a world similar to the present one. In contrast, those who have awakened and experienced a spiritual rebirth find themselves in an entirely different era, a realm where imagination reigns supreme and perfection abounds. They effortlessly navigate this harmonious reality where every aspect conforms to their perfection. This state of being is akin to heaven. Contrary to popular belief, heaven is not a physical place with golden streets. It is a state of being. When the awakened self, represented by the magnificent human imagination, comes to life within you, every environment becomes perfect. If you were to find yourself in a forest with lifeless trees, they would burst forth in lush foliage. In a barren desert, roses would bloom abundantly. Blindness, deafness, and any form of physical limitation would vanish in your presence as you embody perfection. That, my friends, is heaven, perfect harmony. It is not a destination, but rather a transformation that occurs within you. The day will come when you awaken that dormant body within you, the body of awakened imagination. This resurrection will unravel the mysteries concealed within. As you rise, you will comprehend your true identity. The Lord, the universal being, is buried within every child across the globe, encompassing billions of individuals yet unified as one. The fullness of this divine essence resides within you, waiting to be unveiled. When you awaken, you realize that you are the embodiment of this universal being. Tonight, embark on a journey of creation. Focus your imagination on yourself or another, envisioning them as the person you desire them to be. Do not share this vision with them or seek praise. Simply assume that they are sharing marvelous news about themselves with you. Congratulate them on their good fortune and continue on your own path, fully believing in the reality of your imaginal act. The manifestation of this creation may occur tomorrow, in a few days, a week, or even a month. It has its appointed hour and is steadily progressing towards fruition. Therefore, do not be anxious. Let it unfold naturally. What I mean by feeling is the secret, is to capture the emotional state, the mood that would be present if your desired reality were already true. You do not necessarily need to physically touch something, although it is a possibility. The crucial element is to generate and embody the desired emotional state. How would it feel if she were healthy or if circumstances aligned with your desires? Imagine it as if it were already a reality. Always begin from the end and visualize the outcome you desire. Your imagination should always precede tangible evidence. Proceed as though your desires have already been fulfilled, disregarding any doubts cast by reason or sensory perception. These doubts, often referred to as the devil or Satan, represent the doubter within. Instead, turn your back on these doubts and walk confidently in alignment with your desired reality. By persistently living in this assumption, it will solidify and become a tangible fact. Even if reason initially refutes your assumption, through persistence, it will manifest as truth. Therefore, practice assumption, 
and persist in maintaining that state until it materializes. Now let us embrace a moment of silence, after which I will address any questions you may have. If you have any inquiries, please feel free to ask. Ah, yes, indeed. To answer your question, it is necessary to provide an explanation for those who are new to this concept. I state with confidence, based on my own experiences, that nothing truly dies. This principle applies not only to humanity, but also to flowers, animals, trees, and everything in existence. Nothing experiences true annihilation. I am the God of the living, not the dead. Consequently, the small flower that blooms for a single season persists eternally. It renews itself through the seed of contemplative thought, ensuring its perpetual existence. 